Rico, El Coliseo, Ruben Rodriguez. We're getting ready for our main event tonight. Coming your way, an IBF eliminator in the flyweight division, McWilliams Arroyo, 14-1 against Broilan. The sniper, Saludar, 19-0. The tail of the tape, Daniel Jacobs. And what you see is the reach factor for Salido. He has a large reach with, sev with 70 inches of over 64 with Arroyo, so I'm expecting him to use that reach to his advantage if he wants to get the victory. And there you see McWilliams Arroyo. Olympian for Puerto Rico. Carried the flag for them. And there you see from the Philippines, Saludar. The Filipino flag right behind him. Idolizes Manny Pacquiao. And let's go to our ring announcer tonight, Joe Martinez. Desde Coliseo, Ruben Rodriguez de la Ciudad de Bayamón, Puerto Rico. Damas y caballeros, esta es la pelea estelar de la noche. 12 asaltos de FBI, eliminador peso mosca. Here we go, fine fans. The main event, 12 rounds scheduled in this IBF flyweight eliminator. Presentada por, brought to you by Oscar de la Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and Best PR Boxing. Patrocinada por, sponsored by Corona Extra, la cerveza más fina, and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Los tres jueces por ese combate, the three judges scoring this bout at ringside, Terry Hogan, Roberto Gonzalez, and Nelson Vasquez. Encargado de ring, el referee, your referee in charge of the action inside the ring, Gennaro Rodriguez. Y ahora aficionados, los jueces están listos, los peleadores están listos, Boricuas, dile al mundo si están listos. Presentado primero en la esquina roja, con los pantaloncillos, blanco con azul y un peso de 111 libras y un cuarto. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white and blue. He weighed officially 111 and one quarter pounds. Su record, perfecto con 19 victorias. Cero derrotas y un empate con 11 ganados por knockout. His professional record stands perfect at 19 victories. No defeats, one draw with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. The Polo Molo Philippines, here is the undefeated Alberto, the sniper, Milavez. He's opening the Masquina Azul, with the patrons of Negro con Amarillo and a peso de 112 libras. It's opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wears black, trimmed in yellow, and weighed an officially 112 pounds. Su record excelente con 14 victorias, solamente una derrota y 12 ganadas por knockout. His professional record stands at 14 victories with just one defeat. 12 big wins coming by way of knockout. Presentado al hijo de Fajardo, Puerto Rico, Mac Williams. Arroz. Okay, guys. Oh, okay, guys, you got my instructions. I want to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you. And we're getting ready for our main event. 12 rounds. IBF Eliminator in the flyweight division, a division that is stacked right now. And there you see Saludar from the Philippines fighting the first time out of the PI. And he comes to the backyard of McWilliams Arroyo, the Puerto Rican. Arroyo wearing the black trunks with the yellow stripe. Saludar, blue and white, some silver trim. See a little speed from Saludar. I haven't seen before. This guy's coming out pretty fast. Yeah, Saludar, we know that he's 19 and 0, 11 KOs in his career. He's 25 years old, but first time he's on TV in the United States, even in the Philippines, where he, he was fighting in Manila in some of the bigger cards, wasn't always making it to the TV. So if you do some research on him, you're not going to find much on the YouTube if you're trying to find out about it. And that's what Mick, Joe, uh, Mick Williams Arroyo said. It's okay. I don't need to do video about him. I'm going to go out there and fight my fight. Yeah, he says he's going to, he's planning to 
adjust in there, not knowing too much about this guy, but he's going to use his experience to get him through. Arroyo 14 and 1, 12 KOs from Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Obviously, the hometown crowd behind him. Fajardo about 45 minutes away from where we are. He's 28. Fought at the 2008 Olympics for Puerto Rico. He went 1-1. One one. He was also the, had the great honor of carrying the flag during the opening ceremonies. And also there with his brother, Mick Joe, who's in attendance. They're twins. They do everything together except fight. They make sure they're in different weight divisions. They don't even spar because they just, they just wouldn't be good for family. Yeah, and their goal and their dream, both those guys, they said, we want to be world champions together. We want to make history. So that's a, you know, that's a lot to look forward to. Salodar working with a new trainer for the first time. Actually sent, spent some time in Northern California training at Nonito Donaire's gym. <laughs> Opening round scheduled for 12. Arroyo, Saludar, two fighters that don't know much about each other. They both hold those opening couple of rounds. It's going to essentially be a feeling out period. It always usually is a feeling out period, but when you've never seen anybody, you don't know anything about them. It really is. Because it's always that danger of what does this guy possess? Is he going to sneak something? Is he planning something? So that first round is mostly the fill out round because you never know what to expect. Saludar, 19 0 and 1, 11 KOs. 30 seconds to go. And Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Daniel Jacobs alongside Bethel Duran and Jessica Rosales. I'm liking the movement from Salado. He got a nice bounce and good combinations. If you don't know much about him, you can tell that he's a boxer already. There he takes a jab from Arroyo. Salado coming out, throwing a lot of punches in the opening round. in Corpus Christi, Texas. And Belmont is coming up a tough loss to Omar Figueroa at the Stuff Up Center, but Abner Cotto, the cousin of Miguel, will be out there in a tough one against Belmont. He's going to his backyard. Belmont is from that area. So that would be a good one. I like the way that Jerry Belmont is fights. August 7th on Fox Sports 1 and Oscar Deloyo's Golden Boy Promotions. So, second round scheduled for 12. Froyland, the sniper, Saludar against Mc. Williams Arroyo. The filling out process is over now. Both guys look to see. Both guys look as if they're going to come out stronger. Arroyo has a nice jab. Stiff, firm. But the reach, you can see the reach difference. Yes. And Salado is Salad able to make that you know, the big significance in this fight, the big difference. Yeah, it was a four-inch reach difference that Salador has against the Puerto Rican, and Royal lands a left that staggered Salador a bit. And now Salador's going to let the hands go. He's never been down. He's never really been in trouble, he said. So to be staggered a little bit here in the second round, different territory. Big time. You, you, you know, this is a IBF eliminator. You know, both guys know what to expect. They know what's on the line. And they got to go out there and give it their all. So it's a, you know, it's a step up. Saludar from the Philippines trying to find out about him. Jessica Rosales, why do they call him the sniper? You know, when we asked him about that, he got this big smile on his face. He loves that nickname. Now, he said his coach said he's like a sniper, just one bullet, and it's done for him. It's just one punch, and that is it. He's really embraced that name. He told us that in February of 2011, he wore camouflage trunks, had the prints, and really felt the part. And, guys, he ended up getting a first-round knockout. So he's proud of that nickname, and he's proud of the power behind his punches. 
A sniper, huh? You don't see the sniper. And all of a sudden, you're down. <laughs> Just okay. like that. Boom. Right okay. Right you have 11 KOs and you're 19 and 0. Okay. I like that. Got to have the brand. Got to have the brand. Very active fighter is Saludar. As most Filipino fighters are when they come in. There he eats a left from Arroyo. Another left from Arroyo. And now goes Saludar. Big left hook from McWilliams Arroyo. For the first time in his career, the sniper is down. Will he beat the count? He will not. McWilliams Arroyo has knocked out Saludar in the second round in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. As they celebrate in the ring, the attending to Saladar, for the first time in his career, he goes down and he ate a big left hand from McWilliams Arroyo, the 13th time in his career that Arroyo has knocked somebody out. Now, I was just going to mention, he was bouncing in and out. He had good combinations, Salador coming in, but when he backed out, he had his hands down. Now, when he came with a combination, Arroyo came with a nice, left hook combination and ended the fight. You mentioned it in the beginning that the first round first were feeling each other out and then as soon as they started the second you said it. Okay that process is over now they're gonna let him go and McWilliams Arroyo improves a 15 and 1 13 KOs from Fajardo Puerto Rico they're holding his son on top of his shoulders he said that this fight was for the family and for the first time in his career the sniper gets caught from Manila fighting out of the P.I. for the first time. Goes to the Puerto Rican crowd and is knocked out. Unable to beat the count. I like that. As we, as we take another look at it, it was a clean left hook by Arroyo as he comes in, as Salvador comes in with his hands down as he's bouncing in, and he gets caught with a beautiful left hook that ends the night. Oh, his eyes rolled back, his legs were jelly. Oh, he just got tagged hard by Arroyo, who has some power. And we didn't even get to the fact that this is the first fight that McWilliams Arroyo has had since February of last year. No ring rust, no sign of any of that. He said he stayed in the gym, and it paid off. And in this division, the hot flyweight division, he will now take on the IBF title holder from Thailand. 34-year-old, I'm not ruined wrong. And you see the final punch stats. Tonight's CompuBox stats are brought to you by ThrowdownFantasy.com. Draft fighters, track stats, and win. You can look at all the stats, but the one that matters is the big left hook. A lot of power behind that for McWilliams Arroyo, who is still celebrating in the ring with his son on his shoulders. He's fought here before. And let's go up to our ring announcer, Joe Martinez. Damas y caballeros, dos minutos, 25 segundos del segundo round. El referee llega a la cuenta de 10. Two minutes, 25 seconds. Round number two, referee reaches the count of 10 for your winner by KO victory, McWilliams. And your winner, McWilliams Arroyo. He knocks out Boylan Saludar. The IPF title Ch shot at a title is his now. Arroyo with the knockout in Bayamon, Puerto Rico.